Police are still searching for two of the three occupants of a stolen car after a high-speed pursuit across Auckland in the early hours of this morning. An officer ended up in hospital after being hit while laying road spikes and the vehicle ended up crashing into the sea. A 28-year-old man from South Auckland has been arrested and charged. Rebecca Wright reports. This was the end of the road for the stolen sedan, but not for its three occupants, who swam off into Waitemata Harbour. I imagine if they did swim across and make it to the other side that they'll be pretty cold. The police pursuit began just before four this morning when police tried to stop the vehicle in an industrial area in Albany. It's believed its occupants had just committed a crime in premises nearby. They then took off towards Milford and into the path of another officer in Takapuna. A young police officer endeavoured to throw some spikes out on the road in front of the car to stop it just before the on-ramp to the motorway at Esmond Road. Uh, the car suddenly veered and struck the officer. The 23-year-old constable was thrown into the air, landing 20 metres away. He was taken to hospital but is now said to be recovering well. The car kept on towards Beach Haven, travelling the last eight kilometres on one rim. Then the driver simply ran out of road. The officers immediately behind the car, which we've now discovered was stolen with false plates on it, uh, got out of their patrols and ran to the end of the wharf. Uh, to see uh, the occupants, at least three occupants of that car, going into the water. As the group swam for it, officers could hear a woman yelling for help, followed by male voices telling her to be quiet. A massive manhunt followed, which turned up this unemployed 28-year-old man. He was found hiding in bushes near Greenhithe Road. He'll appear in North Shore District Court tomorrow, charged with burglary and unlawfully getting into a motor vehicle. The whereabouts of the other two occupants is tonight still unknown. We know that uh, at least two of the occupants made it across the estuary. And this is where the trail goes cold. A man in his 20s and a woman were seen asking for directions here in Tauhina Road. Both are believed to be Māori and both are said to have been barely clothed. And police would like to hear from anyone with information on the pair. Rebecca Wright, 3 News.